Hello and welcome to another little race I did. Really excited to bring you this one, partly because it's on my favourite course, which is downtown Times, but mainly because I was racing against elite athletes, none other than Olympic gold medal winner Matt Gottrell, who won the men's eight at Rio. That's really him, he was in my race. And this is a video of him doing it. I think you can maybe see him in the orange glasses. No, maybe not. But yeah, that's him. He won the Olympics. And his Ineos sailing teammate, Ben Cornish. What? Look at the size of the man. Yeah, he was racing. So I'm guessing they are both quite fit. Okay, they're not professional cyclists, but they ride for Ineos. Uh, they sail for Ineos and they were in my race. And one of them's got an Olympic gold medal and you have. So, uh, I'm really excited to be racing with them. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure that they joined because they didn't appear in my list, obviously they're they, not sandbaggers, they registered themselves as a cat even though they didn't have to, and we're off. And I think at this stage I can maybe start to see some, they start to come up on the uh, rider list on the right hand side at some stage. And Sorry, yes, they appear on the rider list and they're in the race. And they're in a race with me and about 100 of us, I would say. <clears throat> I think there's about 23 Bs in this. And there goes Matt Godrell, Olympic gold medal winner, off to the front, as you'd expect. And yeah, this is one of my favourite courses because it features two climbs of Watopia, which I tend to do best on in the same race. It's got the Titan's Crow Reverse and the Hilly KOM Reverse, I think it is. Uh, both of which are about 1 minute 30 to 2 minute efforts and tends to suit my power profile. So yeah, as I mentioned, uh, Ben Cornish uh, not Olympic gold medal winner, but probably would have been if uh, his sailing category hadn't been removed from Paris. Assumedly this is some sort of uh, French attempt to make sure that uh, the British don't win as many medals. But uh, yeah, he's off to sail for Ineos. Don't know much about sailing to be honest. Um, but I do remember watching the men's eight at Rio. Uh, it's kind of the blue ribbon event of Rowan, I think. And yeah, we won. And Matt Gottrell is in the boat. So we're uh, approaching Titans Grove now. It's all about uh, conserving effort, really. Um, the A's are racing with us, so even on my strong segments, I'm not going to drop the people who are likely to beat me. So, all the way through this race, pretty much, I will try to just be conserving as much effort as possible. I fancy that Mr. Gottrell, MBE, um, will be quite fit and be willing to push the pace if no one else is. So yeah, just trying to see when we're going down these rollers really come off the power. I've got average three second power so it's not as easy to sell on these short rollers but yeah I'm not doing any work on the downhills really and then when these little sections come just push 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 try not to hit the front but be far enough ahead that you completely come off power on the little downs and excuse me just making our way towards the um, time segment nice little bits of uh, rest on the downs short bouncy efforts I would describe them as on the, uh, on the ups Yeah, 
know what's happening here. In fact, I don't know more. Oh, well, the time segment's just about to start. It's after that big rocky bit. Outcrop? Mm, what do you call it? So yeah, as approaching this segment, time to move forward a bit, don't be out of the draft. Let me hit the start of that segment. Although it's not a points race, people won't be going nuts. People can make a concerted effort at the surface to drop people. So, I am pretty much exactly where I want to be. Not on the front, not chasing down that guy just behind the people who could do it. So if they go after him, I can follow. So not much of a not much of an effort to follow uh, the leader there. Who is it? Uh, Yoko Yokoyama, yeah. But yeah, I'm keeping in touch with these guys who are I would say the what say the front front pack. And we've already dropped quite a few people. But it's early in the race, and I was actually feeling terrible. Even though this is my favourite segment in the whole of the race, uh, the whole of the game, I was not feeling good at all. And my PB there is 128. I think we did 140, but I was really, really on edge and didn't feel I could have done much better than that, really. <coughs> Which is a bit of a shame because we have a big race up there on Tuesday, so I could have done with a bit of confidence boost. But I'm um, up and over with the front group, and we're inevitably going to catch uh, this uh, rider off the front with all this descent and so many riders around us. Hello, yeah, we just about caught him. I'm getting maximum amount of um, super tuck. Virtually no one else super tucks down these bits, but um, I love not pedaling. For someone who likes bike riding so much, I really do like not to pedal. Uh, so I'm going to cut to the next bit where something happens, which I think is under the sea. And here we are, zip by magic, under the sea. And what happens is somebody goes off the front. They don't really explode, but off we go. And that puts a cat amongst the pigeons and the peloton a bit. I make my way forward in order to follow any moves that might go after him. But it's a really good place to go, actually, because it's not too far away from the KOM, where you can really extend the lead and you can tempt other people into joining up with you before then so yeah good move oh and there goes someone after him i think i can't quite make out the names oh is that yokoyama again and i have a jape with um the ineos guys but uh, perhaps they should chase it down and they start to. Perhaps a bit late, perhaps not quite um, explosive enough, but uh, and Bastin's going as well. Let's see Cornish and uh, Gottrell uh, together. And we've caught that sort of groupetto. Another group at all ahead of us. And then. Is it two leaders ahead of that? No, I can't work it out. But yeah, this is where my knowledge, I think, sort of pays off because I really know to hit this corner hard, so I'll get up to about 500 around there. Other, big, other riders are kind of dropping off at that point. If you get it out of the draft there, it's really hard to catch back on. So. Just managing my power to stay in the first. I want to be sort of within two wheels of the leader, really. Take a little bit of a rest there and then back on it. For up till this uh, right hand turn, I think there's a bit of respite after that. 
and I think we're down to I think it's three B's in this but I did know that um, one of them wasn't registered I think it's Kita isn't registered on Swift Power so it doesn't count no Swift Power doesn't count unless you're an Olympian in which case you absolutely do count or you're as big as Ben Cornish in which case yes your result definitely does count uh, so yeah, solidly in this group now, no real danger, and it's hard to tell whether they're chasing down, I think it does look like uh, the Ineos guys are probably having a go at chasing that lead down, but I am not at all interested, and just want to stick with them, and stick in this group stuff front and this is where I realized that I've made my biggest mistake of the race which was not using my power up I've got the stupid burrito I knew to get rid of it but I didn't want to get rid of it at a bad time should have just dumped it as soon as I got it but I kept hold kept hold and missed my opportunity to get the other power up which is useful which is the sprint helmet, but I failed to do it, so I resolved to get rid of this burrito before the next banner at an opportune moment. I think perhaps the bridge reminded me. I thought there was maybe a banner at this bridge, but it's Death Bridge, the JW Bridge, or whatever it's called, where you get one. So yeah, get rid of that, and that proves to be quite costly in a way. Bit of a spoiler there for you. Okay, so it's 4k to go. This group is way off the leaders who are putting in big efforts, so it doesn't look like we're going to catch them up. And look fairly solidly together. No one looks as though they're, they're dropping, and I'm kind of assured of a um, podium for B category, barring disaster. And going through the lovely Italian villas. Don't really know this spin segment very well. It seems weird to have one. So long that it's there. And let's see. Well, I've kind of given away the game, really, haven't I? That uh, I get the rubbish burrito on the finish. Just the S's to negotiate before the finish. I was kind of expecting someone would go long here, but no one makes a uh, enormous effort so again I just stick in stay in the draft and starting to think about the finish which is shortly after a big downhill into downtown Watopia I maintain the draft because of the downhill and that I'm on an aero setup can find myself drifting towards the front so I definitely want to be at the back at the start of that downhill so any drift through the front doesn't find me sort of exposed to the wind when I don't want to be so I'll just slow it down a bit now yeah I haven't had much success in this direction so I'm feeling a bit nervous and uh, not wanting to make a fool out of myself in front of uh, elite athletes so here comes the here comes the downhill with uh, 800 meters to go reasonably nice position I think the other bees there with me I think that's him in the uh, cap Olsen red top really having to feather the power someone's gone earlier than I would 
the Yokoyama again. And as we approached 250 meters, start to ramp up the power. Really felt nice here. Get out to 900, 950, 920, 950 again. And then I unclip. My back, my bike was bouncing all over the place. I unclip and my chain comes off. So <laughs> the sprint turned to nothing. And I limped home. Thankfully, the uh, finish line was oddly early, um, which saved me from complete uh, humiliation at the finish. But it was such a fun race. Great to be with uh, elite athletes and great to be able to stick with them almost to the end, just uh, 30 yards to the end before making a fool of myself. But I don't think anyone noticed. And Matt Gottrell came fourth overall, third A. I came fifth overall and second B. Don't know if the unclipping would have made too much difference, really. Maybe if um, I'd got the arrow, that would have been uh, that might have been the difference maker. But that was my own stupid fault for not um, picking it earlier. And Matt made a nice little comment to me afterwards. Thanks, Matt. Okay, bye.